In a sea of stalls among the beads and baubles, we looked around for stuff that is so rare, you might not find anything else like it. You'd spend your life looking for certain pieces. Grace Munkin has an eye for the unusual. She's traveled all over the world looking for vintage, one-of-a-kind pieces, like this jewelry from the Victorian era, dating back to the 1800s. I danced. I was very, very happy. Happy, especially when she found these vintage Chanel pieces from thousands of miles away to thousands of miles under. Mel King specializes in items found under the ocean. In shipwrecks, he's a diver hunting for treasure. The first time I picked up a piece of gold under the ocean, the hair on the back of my neck stood up, and my heart is pounding so great in my wetsuit. He's even got a piece of coal from the Titanic, and yes, it's for sale. You know, some people might look at it and say, this is just a lump of coal. Well, but anything from the Titanic uh, has, has special, special uh, significance. How much for a lump of coal? Oh, you can get a, a book, a poster, and a lump of coal from the Titanic for $100. This is what silver looks like when it's found at the bottom of the ocean. But once all this crust is removed and it's nicely polished, here is what we end up with. This 80-pound bar of silver was found off the coast of Florida in a shipwreck that happened in 1622. <laughs> it never gets old. And you don't have to travel too far. Rare one-of-a-kind items can be found right here in Arizona. Check out this petrified wood found in Apache County. Anders Carlson practically found a forest buried right on his property. Uh, I thought I was going to find five logs, maybe ten logs, and I found about 40 logs, almost a log a day. One of these logs costs about $70,000. It's an emotional sale because it's, it's my treasure. I dug it up. I found it. 